Hey everyone, welcome to this beginner friendly guide on how to contribute to open source using GitHub, especially for Girls Group Summer of Code 2025. In this video, I will walk you through the step by step process of selecting a project, raising an issue, forking and cloning the repository, and finally creating a pull request. Let's get started. Step 1 Understand the repository. Before contributing to any project, it's important to understand the repository. Once you find a project that matches your tech stack or interest, go through the readme file, explore the code base and even check the live site if available. This will help you figure out where you can make meaningful contributions. Step 2. Find and raise an issue. Once you've understood the project, it's time to find a problem or improvement. Go to the issues tab of the repository and click on new issue. Now add a clear title and description of the issue. You can also attach screenshots or screen recordings to explain better. Once done, click create new issue. Now wait for the project admin or maintainer to assign the issue to you. Once assigned, you'll see labels like GSSO25, Level 1, Level 2 or Level 3. Here you can see the project admin reviewing your issue from their dashboard. If your issue is clear and valid, they'll assign it to you and add a label based on the difficulty level like level 1, level 2 or level 3 and mention you in the comments to confirm assignment. So make sure your description is clear and details. Once the admin assigns the issue to you, you'll see your GitHub dashboard showing the issue is now assigned to you. Now you can start working on it. Step 3. Fork and clone the repository. Now it's time to get the project onto your local machine. Go to the code section of the repository and click on fork. Then click create fork. If you want to add a description, you can do that too. And now you'll see the fork repository under your GitHub ID. That means it's successfully copied to your account. Next click code HTTPS. Copy the URL. Now open your command prompt or terminal and type git clones click in URL. This will download the project to your system. Navigate into the project folder using cd your dash project name. Then open it in VS Code, type code space full stop. Now you're all set to start making changes. Step 4 is make the changes. Start working on the issue you've been assigned. In this video, for example, I'll be fixing the Nava link, so I'll add pages like about, products and contacts. After making the changes, check the readme file of the repository to see how to run the project locally. Follow the instructions and run the server to ensure everything is working as expected. In this repository, I am running it using the command npm start. Now you can test it live. Make sure the changes appear correctly without any issues or errors. Confirm that the issue is resolved and nothing else is broken. Now, step 5 is push your changes to GitHub. Now let's send your changes back to GitHub. In VS Code Terminal or your command line, type git add space full stop. Then git commit shm and in double quotes give the title of your PR. Then type git push origin iv of branch name which you create while cloning the repository. Now the last step you have to do is create a pull request. After pushing the code, visit your GitHub repository. You'll see a compare and pull request button. Click it. Now add a title and a detailed description of your PR. Make sure to mention the issue number you're solving using hashtag issue number. Then click create pull request. Wait for review and merge. Now the project admins or mentors will review your PR. They might suggest changes or approve it directly. Here you can see the project admin viewing your PR from their dashboard. They are checking whether the code is correct and follows the contribution guidelines. Then they review the deployed version of the project to ensure everything is working properly. properly. Once they find everything in order, the project admin proceeds to merge your PR. They add a commit message, click on confirm merge, and just like that, your pull request is successfully merged. And finally, since the issue has been resolved, the project admin deletes or closes the issue from the issue section, marking it as completed. And that's it. You've just completed your first open source contribution using GitHub for Girlscript Summer of Code 2025.
If you are participating in GSXFC 2025 and facing any confusion while contributing, we hope this video helped you understand the complete process clearly. Still have questions? Drop them in the comments. We are here to help. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more helpful content on GSSOC and open source. Thanks for watching and happy contributing with GSSOC 2025.